Hey everybody, so we have a minor yet pretty interesting trade to talk about that took place last night. The St. Louis Blues traded Robbie Fabry to the Detroit Red Wings in exchange for uh, Jacob De La Rose. So it was just a forward swap trade. And um, it's just, it's interesting to me because of uh, what both teams get in this deal. And I think it's a trade that is probably going to help both teams because uh, they are getting something that they particularly want here. So I want to talk about Robbie Fabry first, because Fabry was a guy who came into the league with a lot of potential, and a lot of people thought that he was going to develop into being a solid second-line or third-line goal scorer and someone who could easily contribute 20 to 25 goals every year. And then injuries have kind of derailed his career, which has, has certainly hurt. And I think a change of scenery might be a really, really good thing for Robbie Fabry. But when you look back, he, his rookie season in 2015-2016, he had 18 goals and 37 points. And that was a solid rookie year. And I think a lot of people were like, okay, this Fabry kid is showing something. And, and you know, he was, what, only 19 at the time. And, and the Blues thought that they really had something um some, something in their midst there. And then the injuries started. He only played 51 games his second season, scored 11 goals and 29 points. Then he missed the entire 2017-18 season, did not play a game because of a knee injury. Then he hurt his knee again, and he uh, ended up having two ACL surgeries. And from that point on, his career's really, really gone downhill. Last year, he only played 32 games for the Blues and had six points. Um, and now this year through nine games that he's actually been in the lineup, he only has one goal for one point. So this was a guy who scored 18 goals his rookie year, looked like he was going to develop into a solid middle of the lineup goal scorer, and now had only six points last year, nine points this year, or nine, one point in nine games played this year. And, and is a guy who sometimes is even a healthy scratch for the Blues. And because of the injuries, the offensive production has really fallen off. That He never got the chance to develop fully um, because he missed so much time. And now, you know, other people in the Blues organization have, have surpassed him on the depth chart. And, and Fabry was a guy who was either playing on the fourth line or healthy scratch and not playing at all. And uh, I think, you know, it's not necessarily his fault. But but his time with the Blues was definitely coming to an end, so I'm not surprised that they traded him. Um, and I think Detroit might be a good place for him because while the team is not very good, one of the worst teams in the league, um, Fabry's going to get a chance to play. And now that he's healthy and now that he um, hopefully is done with the injury issues, he's still only 23 years old. We know the, the potential that was originally there. Um, that that's really been hindered by the injuries. But now if, say, he's healthy, and now he's going to get a chance on a Detroit team to play probably either on the second or third line and and actually have a chance to, to get in the lineup and produce offensively, maybe Fabry can kind of turn things around for him, himself personally and, and start picking up the offense again and showing that, hey, maybe I can be a 20-goal scorer. And certainly the injuries have hurt, but, uh, you know, give, give me an, give me some more time and give me another chance and, and I can show that, that I'm going to become the player that a lot of people thought I was going to be three, four years ago. But um, so overall, honestly, I think d d for, det for Detroit, this is not a bad trade at all because you get somebody who, you know, if it doesn't work out, fine, it doesn't matter, you're a rebuilding team anyway, but you're getting a 23-year-old who potentially could have 20 to 25 goal offense in him and, and really, you know, hasn't had much of a chance to be an offensive produ producer with the Blues recently just because of where he is in the lineup and on the depth chart. And now maybe in Detroit, a team that needs some more goal scoring and, and somebody, you know, he'll get a chance to to play more of an offensive role than he certainly got the chance to in St. Louis. So uh, it certainly could be a, a, a win for Detroit if he comes out and starts scoring. And then for the Blues, they get Jacob Delarose, who I think is much more of what they were looking for um, 
that you know fourth line grinder type. He's got one goal and three assists through 16 games played this year. Um, he's he's never going to be a big offensive producer, but he's a guy who's 24 years old. He can play on the fourth line. He he doesn't you know need a ton of minutes. He's not going to give you a whole lot offensively, but he can be a solid fourth line guy who can grind along the wall, go to the front of the net, chip in a goal here and there. And I think that's more of what the Blue, Blues need. I mean, the Blues top six, um, I think, is pretty much set in stone. Obviously, with Tarasenko out long term, that hurts. But their top six is perfectly fine. If the Blues were going to add anything, it was going to be a bottom six player like De La Rose. And... Um, you know, I, I think that he's just more of a fit. And then Fabry's more of a fit in Detroit where he's actually going to get a chance to, to play offensively and, and maybe a little higher in the lineup than he did in St. Louis. So overall, I think this is a good trade for both sides. Both sides get something that I think that they wanted. And again, I think a change of scenery is going to be great for Robbie Fabry um, because the opportunity just wasn't there anymore in St. Louis because of the injuries. I think he's going to get more of an opportunity in Detroit. And then Della Rose is, is kind of the kind of guy that St. Louis was looking to add to that fourth line, um, more of a physical, bigger player. Fabry's much smaller and not really what I would think of as a fourth liner. So I think he's going to go to Detroit, have a chance to play on the third or second line and, and be more of an offensive threat while De La Rose goes to St. Louis and plays that grinding role that they want on their fourth line. So honestly, I think this is a trade that works out for both teams and, and is, um, you know, kind of, certainly Fabry needed a change, I think, in my mind. And De La, De La Rose is a nice pickup for St. Louis, who, again, is going to need those depth guys to play well and come through certainly now and also in the playoffs. So that's my opinion on this trade. Like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description below. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon and merchandise store are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.